Hi everyone and welcome back to a doodle a day with Mrs. Rivera. As always, all you're going to need is paper, marker, or a pencil. Now I like to use a marker just so that you could see a little better. I'm going to move my pencil out of the way. Now let's get started. The past few episodes have been about outer space and we've drawn an astronaut, a rocket ship, and we've even illustrated a shooting star and a regular star. What I want to do for this one is create something interesting for our astronaut to see in space. So I thought it would be cool if we drew an alien in a little spaceship. So let's get started. I'm going to put my paper, as a matter of fact, I'm going to hold my paper horizontal so we have space for our alien and, and its ship. So let's go right to the center of our paper. And what I want you to do is create a semicircle that's upside down. Kind of like that. So that it looks like the bubble that the alien's gonna be inside of the ship. Now let's close this up by connecting it like so. Okay. So now it really looks like that bubble. Now let's extend our ship. I'm gonna do that on both sides. Like so. Okay, so we have a nice Size. I feel like this one's too short. There you go. Okay. Now let's connect it right here. It doesn't have to be straight. It could have a little bit of a, a curve to it. Like that. And we're going to do that again because you want your spaceship not to be so skinny. You want it to have some depth to it. So we're actually going to go like this and like this. Okay, now I'm gonna turn my paper upside down so I can make that nice connection. Okay, so now my spaceship has some girth to it. Okay, now let's get to the cool part. Let's get our alien in here and then we'll put some more details on our spaceship so that it really has some cool, a cool vibe to it, okay. So in here, I want my alien to fit in here nicely. So I'm going to do him as semicircles. But I want this alien to have multiple eyes. So I'm going to do extensions so that the eyes are going to be coming out of those. I'm going to give my alien a few eyes. I think I'm going to go with maybe, let's see, we got four. What are we going to fit here? in a cool way. I'm going to say we'll go with six. And if you want to draw an alien with three eyes, go for it. If you want to give your alien only four, go for it. It's up to you. You can change this up. So now that I have my extensions, I'm going to do circles on top of them. And I'm going to connect those circles in there. Like so. Okay, now we have my six eyes. Let's get all those details in so it really looks like eyeballs. Let's do the eyelids. And it's almost like you're making half circles inside them. Like that, semicircles, excuse me. Not half, like that. Okay, it looks weird right now. And now let's give that eye shape like that. Okay, so it almost, you're creating little semicircles inside the semicircles that you made. All right, so now I have these weird eyes. And because it's an alien, I do still want to give some detail inside, so I'm just going to put a little black dot to be kind of like the pupil that the alien would have, like so, okay? And let's give the alien a lot. It needs a lot more dimension to it, right? It needs more interesting things. So we have these six eyeballs going on. What kind of a mouth? I don't know. Let's do something kind of like like this. You're not even going to be able to see the full mouth because the alien's driving inside the ship. So the alien's going to have that in there. And I'm going to do a little bump nose, like bump. That's it, okay? And I'm going to have like this weird 
tongue, I'm gonna give the alien three tongues like that. And I'm gonna color this black so you could really see that. So let's, after you make your three bumps, let's color in this part here. Let's shade it in so that you could really see the details of your alien in there. Like this. Okay, very cool. And I still feel like my alien needs some more oomph to it. So I'm going to give my alien some polka dots all over so that it looks more interesting. I'm going to make some big, color them in, make some small. You can put them anywhere you want. As a matter of fact, the way that I drew these two big bumps, it looks like alien eyes. Another set of eyes. Gonna make another one here. Let's make some more. Give more of character to our alien. Like that. And remember, when you're coloring these in, those of you that color them in, you can make your alien in all sorts of cool colors. It could be green, it could be blue, it could be yellow and red. It's up to you completely. You could even change these to be stripes if you don't like the polka dots that I did. Okay, so now that we have our alien in here, that looks pretty cool. We need to work on our ship to give it a little bit more detail. Now, the ship would be metal so that it would be able to travel through space, right? So let's, we have our glass in place. Let's add a little semicircle like this. Let's follow the same pattern that we did with this line. So let's make this line over here parallel to that one. And we're gonna go like this, because I wanna be able to draw what looks like screws or grommets that are holding together the glass to the spaceship like this. Okay. And I want to be able to do those in here too because something would have to be holding it together. So I'm going to put some more, like, these look like little, it almost looks like a grommet. It looks like a grommet to me, but these could be like the bolts and, that are holding everything together in here. Or if you don't want it to be the bolts, some of you might look at these and color them in different colors and be like, these look like lights to me, Mrs. Rivera. And that's pretty cool too. Now down here, I'm gonna make those hatching lines so that it looks like we have some more dimension here. Plus, it's a cool alien ship. It doesn't need to have it. It doesn't have to make sense. It has to look like it's something out of this world, right? So I'm gonna do these cross hatching lines, except I'm gonna make these go in this direction and the ones from this side to go in the opposite direction. So it's almost like I'm mimicking the side of my ship. It creates a very cool pattern that's going right toward the middle. Like that. Okay, now we have that here. Yep. I'm gonna continue it on both sides, like so. I wonder if we should leave that plain. Maybe we can make a light in here, like that, right? I'm gonna make the lines around it broken so it looks like it's illuminating, right? So it's like radiating something from in there. Now these you can either color in different colors or you can make a pattern out of them. All right, so you could leave them plain or you can make the pattern like I said. I think it would be pretty cool if we actually did a hatching again. So I'm just gonna go like this because I didn't like the lines that I had here. So I'm gonna go like this to create a pattern. And if you, make if you hatch them just right, it could even look like lights that are moving up and down on our ship. So I'm gonna make the pattern to be every other one so that you balance out your illustration 
by creating a nice even pattern. So I'm gonna do the same thing here. I like that this ends in white. I'm gonna continue that here. So same thing, I'm gonna leave this one blank by that V shape that we've created and then I'm gonna go with my hatching lines and I'm gonna continue. Skip a line, hatching again. Skip a line, hatching again. Now I've seen a lot of pictures that have been sent to me that look amazing. It looks like you have all been doing these. I would love to see a picture where you're combining all of the elements that we've learned to draw. Okay, that looks pretty cool. It's like it's glowing. Do, do, do. That looks pretty cool. All right, I like that. I wonder if we should add some more of these lights in here so that it looks like they're glowing. Let's make some small ones in here, just two or three. I'm gonna do one about here like so, and I'm gonna make these glowing like that. I'm gonna do another one right in here, and same thing, like they're glowing, like they're radiating. I'm gonna get in here too, like they're glowing. And lastly, I'm gonna fit one here because there's a lot of negative space left, so let's add another one in here like so. Oh, I like that. Very cool. I think our spaceship's looking pretty cool. All right, so we have our bubble. We have this. Maybe in here what we could do to show that this is glass is add one of those highlight lines. So remember the highlight lines are when we make those little stripes that do this. It's almost like you're making an upside down exclamation point, okay? And you do that, you can add the circle on the bottom or on the top. I'm gonna put it toward the bottom because I don't want it to interfere there. And I'm gonna do that to show that this is has some sort of a highlight to it, all right? And there we have our alien spaceship. Now, depending on where you draw this on your paper, you wanna make sure you do some action lines, right? To see that it's moving. I'm actually gonna draw my action lines around it like this because I want my spaceship to look like it's moving around it. Now, if you don't want your spaceship to move that way, that's okay. You can make it with action lines that are coming from the direction that your UFO is traveling from, okay? So I want my action lines to look like this because I, the way that I envision this moving is that it goes around in circles while the alien's kind of inside. Okay, so I put in my action lines. This part moves, this part stays steady, but it's alien inside. And now down here, I'm going to initial it, right, as always. And I put the 20 because it's the year 2020. And there you have it. We have our little alien ready to bump into the astronaut in outer space. I can't wait to see your aliens. Until next time.